All right, we're back on the Young Turks. Um, our colleague Michael Hastings, who's a contributor to the Young Turks, has passed away this morning. He was 33 years old. He also worked for Rolling Stone and BuzzFeed. He's one of the few great journalists in this country. He was an actual watchdog of the government and did his job. And uh, he's going to be missed by us, but also missed, I think, by the entire nation. Uh, one of our producers, James Gannon, uh, quickly put together a tape of uh, Michael's appearances on the Young Turks. It's the way to remember him a little bit. Uh, let's watch it together. You have David Axelrod, who, who has a reputation uh, for being one of the, the hardest, uh, dirty might not be the word I'm looking for, but uh, you know, an old school uh, form of politics. You have Stephanie Cutter, who was a veteran of the 2004 Kerry campaign, who watched Kerry get decimated by these sort of Karl Rove type tactics. And you have a guy like Jim Messina, who's the campaign manager who knows how to win. When she covered stories that I was also covering, she would uh, quote anonymous Pentagon officials saying things that weren't true. Yeah. That, that, that's, where, that's, where, that's where I draw the line. I think, though, that, that you know, these filmmakers do have a responsibility, especially when they're tackling the subject, to get it right, to get the big, one of the big questions, one of the biggest debates in the last 10 years. You, know, you, you have to get it right. You said Eric Holder was a busy man. I think he needs a vacation, and I think that vacation should last at least uh, three more years and however many days <laughs> left in this administration. I, I, I am so out. Like, we haven't got to uh, the AP, uh, AP scandal yet, but... In terms of, of the IRS, again, let's, let's talk about the administration's damage control here. It's, it's classic Obama in the sense that, yes, he's firing people, but the people you're firing are, are going to be, you know, low-level guys, people he doesn't have a personal relationship with, where Eric Holder himself, uh, most recently, he's one of the inner circle. He was at Valerie Jarrett's daughter's wedding earlier uh, last year. I mean, he, he's someone who's very tight with Obama. Uh, so, so that's why he survived so long, despite, uh, despite the you know, Fast and Furious scandal uh, and a number of other these things. And, but, but I think this, you know, this is just embarrassing. When, when you have to go up and say, oh, I don't know anything about anything repeatedly, uh, you should be out of a job. Well, that's exactly what we loved about Michael, calling it out exactly as it is with no fear of consequences in the government or anyone in the government, whether they were Democrats or Republicans, uh, passed away at the age of uh, 33 there. Um, and guys, as you watch that clip, I mean, that, that was a guy who knew to, how to take on power. He always had the facts, and we used to call him the notebook because he'd always come in with his notebook. And, uh, you know, he was an old school journalist, and he'd write down what you said, and then he'd print it. <laughs> Look, he was. <laughs> and, and, and people would criticize him for it, but that's, but that's what you said. <laughs> he was a lunatic, too. And I say that with total love and respect, because the great journalists always are. You know, the mediocre journalists, they're the work the room, go to the correspondence dinner, have the meal, have the lunches. Michael was old school. He was a wild man. He went out there and he, he wrote what he wrote and he researched and he got it right, whatever it took, and he said it. And man, nothing was going to stop him from saying it. And that's what we need. To me, uh, a sign that you're doing things right as a journalist is if you make people in power uncomfortable. And he made them very uncomfortable. If you're not really challenging them and you're just working as a PR flack almost for them, well, they're very comfortable with you. Then they, uh, you know, love to yuck it up with you in the Washington Correspondence Center, et cetera. They didn't love yucking it up with uh, Michael, and that's because he was doing his job. And uh, we're going to sorely miss him here. It, it makes you want to know what he would say next about the next things that happen. When you, when we, as we develop more things that happen and things that come out, the, 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 the guy who was telling, the, um, who told Daryl Issa what exactly was going on, I would love to know what Michael would say about that. Yeah, yeah. You know? And that's Every one, of the, gonna miss what he may have said it. one of the many truly tragic things about this is that we're not going to have this powerful voice anymore to call out the government on the next story and the story after that. Viewpoint is next.